Okay, this is match four with junk mid range, and we're actually doing pretty good right now. We're three and zero in the tournament. Uh, yeah, we won a game on time, but uh, we're still doing pretty solid. This hand looks pretty nice right here because I got Fiend Slayer. If I can get that out quick, we're in great shape. And also, Golgari Charm is not bad in this matchup at all. Uh, I don't like Double Gideon against it, but... Okay, Emissary, you can probably drop. Uh, little Fire Fist Striker guy. Ooh, he's going... God damn, Double Tree. Pillar. Yeah, it's not terrible. Yeah, it's four damage on the board, but... And we may actually be playing a little bit of Golgari Charm this turn, depending on what he drops. Three mana for an Ash Zealot and Pillar. Or did he just over tap? I guess he just over tapped. Okay, we're going to save three damage to the face with the Golgari Charm here. Ugh. At least we can putrefy a Hell Rider off the get go right here if we need to. One, two. And it looks like we're probably going to go with uh, another Golgari charm here. That way we can kill that lightning wall or two. Little black green. Gary charm, save three damage to the face, kill a creature. If we could draw a land, that'd be nice. Preferably a sun petal grove or a plane, so that way we could drop Fiend Slayer. Oh, that's not good. Hopefully, though, next game we won't get kind of land screwed and we can get out some lifelink guys to try and stop the onslaught of little red assholes. I think I speak for a lot of people whenever I say I'm pretty sick of seeing this mono red deck stuff. sell it out of the way. That way if we do hit white source we can first strike lifelink the shit out of these little tutus. And hopefully it doesn't have brimstone volley which that might be the case. Yep. So it looks like we're screwed. Oh come on game. So we go to one He's got a burn spell in hand, or if he draws a burn spell or a creature with haste, we lose. But if he doesn't, it's possible to stabilize. Could have a comeback like we did, you know, like the other games. Like, you know, like four of the six games that we played. And that's going to be a pillar to the face. No, Rakdos Cackler. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Ooh, we can actually drop Trustani too. Nice. Nice. Let's go with it. Dude, if we stabilize, this is going to be ridiculous. Okay, so Smiter, let's go Trustani, and then we can go Smiter next turn if he doesn't hit a burn spell.
Okay. No whammies. Come on, no whammies. No burn spell. Or Hell Rider. Please, no Hell Rider. <laughs> Uh, it looks like a burn spell. Oh. Okay. So there's that. Um, righteous blow comes in. Abrupt decay stay in. Golgari charm I think comes out. Ultimate price stays in. Uh, Gideon's not that great here. Um, I think actually elixirs might come in. I'd say scavenge moves, but he dies really quick. So we'll go with elixirs. And let's see. Righteous blow. I like it. Um Braska is well Vraska's not terrible. Actually, you know what he brings in burning earth. So Golgari charms actually stay in. Um, we could take out a pu we'll get, actually we can take out all the putrefies and bring in our ultimate prices. Uh, Golgari charm definitely stays in. Um, let's see. I'm actually not sure what to take out here. Uh, brave the elements maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll go ahead and take them all out and we'll go with uh, a fourth Golgari charm. And yes, I will play first. I'd love to. The hand is not great, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. At least we're on the play so we can get down a voice and hopefully draw another white source for Paladin. Because if we get that Paladin down, we're pretty much golden. Misses a one drop. Um, Temple Garden, nice. We'll go ahead and play it untapped, since we're going to do that next turn anyway. And so that way, well, it, yeah, it lets us get a voice out. Durr, what am I thinking? Just listen to me talk, I sound like a crazy person. Ah, uh, Pillar, that's okay because he wasted his second turn to get rid of my guy. And now we get a Fiend Slayer Paladin. Got an Abrupt Decay lined up. Got a Blood Baron. Oh, Fiend Slayer. Oh, also we can uh, Vraska his Burning Earth that I know he fucking boarded in. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, no. Burning Tree. Um, I'm going to blow up that Fire Fist Tracker, I think. Depending on what happens. Uh, Golgari Charm might actually be the play over Abrupt. We will have to see. Fire Fist Tracker. Okay. And Lightning Mauler. So I know we're going to eat Burning Earth, but we have Vraska for that, and we get to kill a lot of creatures right here. We get to sweep his board, basically. So let's go ahead and go Gari Charm. And this is why I say people underestimate this card, because that little mini sweeper kills a lot of shit that's in red deck, especially the ones that have a young pyromancer. Ooh, Trustani, that's not bad either. White, white, green, green. And we'll swing with uh, old Fiend Slayer there. Get some life gainage on. And at this point, Burning Earth doesn't really hurt us a whole lot. Because we can just... Yeah, we lose five life to do it, but we can get a Vraska out there. Shander's Phoenix. Again, not terrible. 
I mean, like, I'm not excited about it, but... Um, actually, I don't know if I want to block that with Tristani, because I'm pretty sure he's got Searing Spear in hand. So we take six, and he's going to Searing Spear us, so we got a 13. Um, Vrask is pretty good, but I think Blood Baron's better. Gain our life. Swing with the old fiendy. So we drew a land. So he's definitely got Searing Spear. That's just kind of a fact at this point. Uh, maybe not. He's skipping. There's an elixir, which is pretty good. And I think elixir comes down. I think we get in there with the old, old fiend slayer. Maybe even blood baron. Mm. Yeah, why not? We can abrupt decay whatever he tries to block Baron with, and we'll just do that. Um, actually, if he does that, Baron dies. I want my Baron. Yeah. But he might have, um, oh, you know what? I bet he's got fucking, uh, Brimstone in hand. So I don't know why I just did that. But we'll be okay, because actually I'd rather him kill Trostani than, uh, our Blood Baron. It looks like we pretty much got this one under wraps. We got two life linkers out. We got Trostani, so every time we drop a creature, we're gaining life. <coughs> Go ahead and crack elixir. Ooh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Skull crack. Go skull crack. Or is it a skull crack? Is it skull crack? No, it's not a skull crack. Okay. So. Let's go with old Brasky here. Actually, Braid the Elements would be good, but I think what we boarded in is probably better. Skull crack. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get rid of that Phoenix and let him Searing Spear Braska. It's probably game, yeah. Okay. So we didn't see Burning Earth, but I know he's definitely got it. Um, I'm wondering if Duress isn't better than Golgari Charm. I think Golgari Charm is a little bit more of an impact card just because I can like run out of mini sweeper if I need to. But, eh. yeah, I, th I think Golgari Charm is probably better than Duress in this situation. I like that with Duress we can just pull Burning Earth out of his hand or like a Brimstone Volley, any of that stuff. But I think the payoff for a Golgari Charm is a little bit higher. So I'm wondering if he boarded out the uh, Burning Earths actually, just because he saw a Golgari Charm in both games. Uh. Hand's not good, it's not bad. We'll have to roll with it though. At least we can ultimate prize on turn two. And we got Blood Baron. Nice. We're only one land away from being able to cast it. We can get another white source, we're 
in great shape though with Fiend Slayer. Uh, this is gonna be Burning Tree. Damn, he is drawing the shit out of those. Fire Fist Striker. Got another Fiend Slayer. Bring that in just in case he wants to run out something with some speed. Hopefully we can win this though and go 4-0 because that would be awesome. Get some tickets at the card bot. Um, if the game doesn't freeze on us. Ash, sell it. Okay, now I want that to die. I know we aren't running anything flashback, but it has first strike, so... I'll let him go ahead and do that, so he's wasting time off his clock. Kill all zealot. Hopefully we can get a white source here, and then we can just go, like, double fiend slayers, but that's pretty good, too. Um, I, th I think we bring it in on tap, because we're eating two life either way, and I'd really plan on killing something with it, so... And if he doesn't speed up his game plan, then we're going to have a Blood Baron out pretty soon. I may have wanted to do this last turn because he might have like Brimstone Volley in hand. But regardless... No, I guess not. Missed a land drop. Okay. Oh, why you gotta be so mean? Yeah, we definitely need a, uh, need to get some lifelink out there. <clears throat> I hope he gets stuck on two lands, though, because that would be awesome. Oh, Burning Tree, I hate you. Skullcrack, oh god, we're not in great shape. We go to five, we eat four next turn and gain four, so we go back to five. Uh, Righteous Blow isn't bad. Kind of sucks that we didn't get another White Source, because we would have had this game in a bag. He's got three cards in hand. Hopefully they're not anything called Burning Earth. Hopefully they're not land cards either. And we actually have to block, otherwise we are just screwed, and I think he's probably sitting on Brimstone Volley or some shit. Okay, so we're back at five. Please don't play land and play Brimstone Volley. Searing Spear. Okay, so he's got something like Pillar in his hand. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta attack, and then we gotta drop righteous blow on something. Please don't have Brimstone Volley because it's going to ruin my day. I'm trying to go 4 0 here, bro. Just let me do it. He's probably like, Righteous Blow, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, it's a card. It's a card to kill shit. Oh man, that double white source killed us on him. Brimstone, no Phoenix. Why didn't he play that first? Oh my god. Our only move here is to gain five and then lose four next turn. No, we lose six. Gain five, lose six, we go to three, but he has to activate Muta Vault for it. Hopefully he doesn't have Burning Earth in his hand because we are screwed if he draws a land. If we pull this out though, it's kind of 
kind of ridiculous. Please don't have burn spells. Four at nine, takes six. If he didn't draw land, he can't kill us this turn, I don't think. And we're just going to start gaining more and more each turn. And he's not swinging with Mutafault. Which is kind of interesting. Two. Fire Fist Striker, okay. Um, so we swing with Blood Baron, drop out Ooze, and we can gain two life and block something. Uh, it seems like it's the play here. Swing of Blood Baron. Do that. Drop out some ooze. And we can gain. We can get. Well, actually, we can get a fair amount. We can put two counters on our ooze here. We're taking six because of Fire Fist. But also, he's taking some damage too next turn. I mean, he's got to draw something to kill me. If we win this, this is going to be kind of awesome that we came back. Okay, can't block, that's fine. Okay, go to four. Please no burning earth. <laughs> Please don't do that to me. Yeah, Brave the Elements wouldn't have really, really done anything here. Honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to a removal spell either. Because that way we could kill Fire Fist Striker and Block Cackler and all that good stuff. Let's see, he's got to have Pillar and Spear to do 5 damage, but I can exile 2 creatures in response. And I can gain three life off Ooze alone next turn, plus five from Blood Baron. Um, I th think we're in great shape, actually. I'll let that resolve first before I try and get the next one. And Pillars, well shit, he might have Shock, too. Oh, please don't have Shock Searing Spear. Okay, nice. Golgari Charm. You are a thing. Yes, you are. So, let's go Blood Baron. And we'll drop Golgari Charm next turn to kill Fire Fist Striker so we can block. Let's see if he goes. Yeah, he's got to go Mutafault here. Oh, I wish I had a Putrefy because we'd just win right now. I think. No, we wouldn't, but <laughs> we'd put him at one. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, man, life gain is just so underrated. All right, so that sets him back to two mana, so he can't actually drop Burning Earth. But he can Searing Spear. He's doing it to our face. I don't know why he wouldn't. Okay, that's fine, because we gained 5, 6, 7, 8 this turn, so we go to 11. And let's go ahead and exile some of his little dudes here. Or, hold on. We can only exile one. Oh, shit, he only got one creature in the yard? Oh, we can, uh... Golgari Charm and get the uh, Fire Fist Striker. Which actually I think might be the play. Um, the question is, do I do it right now? I th think so, yeah. 
Well, hold on. Brimstone volley is uh, morbid triggers for the entire turn, so doesn't really matter. But we will Golgari Charm on the begin combat phase. Put this dude in a pretty bad spot with Blood Baron. I don't know why he didn't just kill Blood Baron with that Searing Spear. Well, I guess I could have gone Township in response. Let's see what he does. Lightning Mauler, nice. So we're getting the twofer. Okay, Soul Bond, yes, of course. Soul Bond, let's go. A little Golgari Charm. Boom. GG, bro. And yes. So let's see. There's not. He can't really do anything. He can only block with one creature. So we actually. Yeah, we win. Yeah. We just township. Pretty sure there's not. A, let me make sure I actually attack here and. Don't double click Blood Baron accidentally and skip. Okay, nice. GG's. Alright, nice. So it looks like we are going 4 0 to win the Friday Night Standard Tournament. Cool. Alright, don't forget to like or subscribe, you know, drop me a comment, some suggestions, whatever you want to do. Just feel free, and uh, thanks for watching, man. I'll see you next time.